my first ever season reset just happened the other day here in call of dragons and we're back in the world of tamaris today so that way i can give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the season reset feature we're going to go over everything that is good about it we're also going to go over things that are bad about it because this was the number one thing that people commented about on my last call of dragons video they mentioned season reset a ton because this is the first season reset for many of us and i just feel like this is something that i have to talk about okay now before we begin what's going on guys cheers if you're new to the channel for call of dragons my name is omniarch i'm an official associate here for call of dragons and we got to talk about season reset okay now first of all real quick i got mega lucky by getting Sindrion on the uh the limited event that came around with the wheel i only spun that like 10 times uh, or 20 times maybe and i got your boy uh, and this is this is huge for me because uh, first of all i already have kanara okay she's great five five two three this dude is from the strongest lord event and i had no intentions of getting him through this event so the fact that i was able to get him for basically for uh, for gems for spinning a wheel that's amazing so thank you rng gods so let's talk about the first good thing with season resets and that is that it gives the developers a way to implement new features and change things about the game as players progress through call of dragons this is sort of a future proofing for the development of the game because if you think about in two years three years four years if you're still doing the same things over and over and over again in home kingdom then you may get bored now a lot of you play rise of kingdoms and you're familiar with this uh with this problem the way that they solve that in rise of kingdoms is continuing to add new kvk game modes but wouldn't it be nice if there was actually new things to do in the home kingdom as well and i think that is the strategy that they went with in call of dragons because you know it kind of stinks that you in in rise of kingdoms right there is time in between action that's kind of just boring and i feel like that's probably the main reason that a lot of players quit games like rise of kingdoms is because there's downtime right there's weeks of downtime and people just get bored and they stop logging in so that's the thing about season resets is that they can change the i mean think about the long-term plans here right they could literally in between seasons they could change the entire map think about fortnite or any other battle royale think about uh war zone think about even games that aren't battle royals think about like world of warcraft when cataclysm came out uh they changed the map right they they completely could possibly do that in call of dragons now this is probably a very late game you know a year two years from now because this is a massive map and i'm sure it took them a long time to make this but that is like the sort of thing that they could do with the season resets without throwing you into a new kvk every few weeks and that is kingdom versus kingdom or server versus server for those of you who don't know what that means and not only does it give the devs a way to implement new features but as you guys probably know if you play call of dragons it resets a lot of things on your account okay it resets the level of your heroes it resets the level of all of your artifacts it also uh, removes a lot of different items it removes basically all of your arcane dust it removes all of your uh, leveling up books the exp books for your um for your hero and it also removes all of your cp recovery items okay so it says it even right here scrapped after season end so there is a lot that gets reset and for some players that's annoying and we'll talk about that later but for other players it gives you something to do right and I, again i go back to rise of kingdoms and the reason that we're comparing this is because you have to ask yourself uh you know these developers know a lot about city builder games they've led rise of kingdoms for years that game is mega successful to this day still and so they're basically when they built call of dragons you have to imagine that they're attempting to build it in a way where it won't run into the same problems that rise of kingdoms runs into and so when you have a season reset uh, now you all of a sudden have something to do every time you log in when you're in home kingdom you can level up your heroes you can level up your artifacts all of that stuff gets reset uh, as opposed to rise of kingdoms where once you enter or once you leave kvk now you have weeks of nothing to do in home kingdom there's nothing there's some events that come around and you know it's kind of the same um seasonal hol holiday events right but besides that besides those same recurring events there's nothing to do all your commanders are maxed all the skills are are maxed on the epic commanders right and you're kind of just waiting around for the next kvk uh, and with season resets resetting a lot of things 
there's stuff to do every time you log into call of dragons so that way you don't get too bored additionally during season resets um it resets all of the alliances okay uh now there is i believe a seven day window where your alliance name is reserved and those alliances can be formed again right but it's it's very different resetting the entire map and all of the all of the alliances as opposed to in rise of kingdoms where you know there's some servers that have like one main alliance that controls the entire map and there's really no opportunity for any other alliance to form in that kingdom right there may be uh, smaller little satellite alliances around the map but once all the power is consolidated into that one alliance or you know two three alliances whatever um that's pretty much going to be the status quo for that server until players quit and if players quit it's not like there's going to be a new batch of players coming in no like those new players are going to be on new servers right so eventually kingdoms die that way uh and in this way when seasons reset by resetting all of the alliances uh it gives new people a a chance to vie for power right it gives them a chance to plead their case and you know realistically will this will it really change anything right like if there is one dominant alliance at the end of season one and then season two begins there's a good chance that that alliance is going to stick together because they saw success in season one and so logically they will want to band together once again to conquer the server but it's possible that there could be new alliances that pop up and if they're they're in the right place at the right time they capture you know the right behemoths at the right moments uh and depending on where they're located on the map like things could there could be an upset there could be something that changes by going into the new season without all of the alliance territory already claimed and that i think can be exciting i mean i think that could be interesting to see how the the server and the map develops over time uh and see how it compares to what it used to be and finally the last good thing that i want to talk about uh is really just for whales okay this is really just for those that are spending in the game but there are benefits to uh, the season resets because there are new bundles that come into the game they also reset the first person gem here the gem value so you basically get double gems for your first purchase of each of these that resets which is nice there's also the blaze of glory event that comes around and of course events like the enduring artifact compendium which as you can see i already did the 20 attempts uh, i wish i had recorded that i wasn't really thinking but there are really great events like this where if you spend gems you can get basically two guaranteed legendary artifacts which is really good odds uh, i mean it's guaranteed but compared to other events where you have to basically pull like 90 times or, or a bunch just a bunch of times to get anything legendary um here you're basically guaranteed a bunch of the epic artifacts uh and the the legendary artifact chance here is just insane it's huge so if you're a whale there's lots to spend on of course they introduce new heroes as well uh and so like there's just a lot to enjoy with the new season reset but that is not for everybody of course a lot of you guys are free to play or you're low spenders maybe you spend uh, on the monthly supplies or whatever the the growth fund i still haven't bought this by the way i'm waiting until i hit 25. honestly i would get so much value if i just got it right now I... anyway let's talk about the downsides of the season reset and that is that it's a grind oh baby is it a grind and a lot of you guys based on the comments on my previous video don't like that grind i am i was very surprised at how many people commented saying like hey the game would be great if it weren't for season resets or yeah we just had season reset and i think i'm just gonna quit and like i saw multiple people talking about that which is honestly kind of shocking because we knew season resets were a thing right at the beginning of the game so this is not really a surprise to anybody um but as it turns out i mean from what i'm seeing and you guys can let me know in the comment section below uh, the season reset seems to be relatively unpopular at least amongst rise of kingdoms players i think rise of kingdoms players are used to not having their stuff reset and so they aren't happy that now all of a sudden it is in this game uh and i get it right i i kind of do get it and i do sort of feel the same way because with the season reset you know i went from uh, killing the highest level of darkling out in the world easily to now i struggle to kill the level 13th okay i really i struggle i put four armies on it uh and i really they're all in yellow health by the time i kill it right um and so that is to me it stinks because i feel like i'm going backwards right i spent the last three months progressing my account and now i can't even defeat a level 13 like i, I have struggled with level 13 there's a thing that i've noticed a lot in gaming lately uh, and this is not just call of dragons i've noticed this in many games and that is 
as you level up your character in an MMORPG or in an action RPG or whatever, uh, you seem to feel like you're getting weaker until you hit the late game. So for example, as you go through the tutorial, you feel like a God, right? You're one shotting everything. You can't, you basically can't die. Your health is regening. Uh, and then by the time you're like level 50 or 60, you're really struggling to defeat just regular mobs in the world. And I don't know what started this trend in gaming but i hate it uh so this is not a problem with just call of dragons this is uh, something i've noticed in all games and just as a player if i spend three months six months a year into a game i want to feel like i'm getting stronger over time and with the season reset i feel like overnight i lost like 90 percent of my power and that just doesn't feel good um obviously all the reasons that i talked about earlier in the video are why they do that right there's reasons for the reset but for me like from a player motivation perspective is that trade-off worth it i don't know i'm sure the developers have the data on that i'm sure they'll be able to uh, see exactly like you know how many players are enjoying this feature versus how many players maybe log in less frequently post season reset i'm sure that they're paying attention to that data and if that turns out to be if it turns out that season resets are very unpopular then i can see a world in the future where they change it to where like less things are reset i think there's there's probably no world where season resets go away but i can see them perhaps altering what is reset or how much is reset or what you start with after the reset right uh, there's a lot of things that the developers can do to make the reset the season reset system better which is why i wanted to make a video like this uh, to kind of give my opinions on it and if they watch hopefully they you know can understand maybe where i'm coming from and where other players are coming from because for me if i had to live in a world where there is season reset versus not season reset i rather there not be a season reset uh, and i again i know that that's not gonna you know who cares what i think right but that's just my opinion right yeah just the fact that you know i just feel like i'm weak now so you know what happened to the last few months of my progress it's kind of gone uh and then in order to get back there um it's a real grind boys it's a real grind you really got to grind through it you also have to grind through um the dragon trail again which i had nearly completed last season so it's like that's that's a whole other thing that i now have to like redo right uh and one of the things that i'm worried about is like yes earlier i mentioned that season resets are a way for the developers to add new features and change things around which is good i'm worried about you know what if it takes longer than we expect for those new features to come so how many times am i going to clear the dragon trial a uh, trail before i get bored of it like right like you know i can imagine six seasons from now like i am not gonna want to do the same dragon trail like it's just that's just way too repetitive right uh and and you know just because there is something to do every time you log in doesn't necessarily mean it's something that I want to do every time that I log in uh, and I think that that is that could be you know a problem later down the line for the season reset feature uh obviously there is plenty of space for them to continue the dragon trail here so you know I think they will change it but um ultimately it kind of just doesn't it to me it doesn't feel great uh having to redo the same things that i just did right and again in the future they probably will change that but they didn't change it this time and i think that is a really big problem for a lot of players that you know um they just don't really see the value in the reset right now i think in the future like i said that if there are new features and things like that or big changes to the new season then players will the value to the reset will be inevitable it will be obvious and apparent right uh but for this season reset it seems like there have been minor changes and big big resets right big setbacks and i think that's what's rubbing a lot of players the wrong way it's like they don't feel like they're really getting anything out of the reset right that is really the core problem like why did we reset if we're just going to do the same thing again uh, i think that is the the main issue that a lot of players have and i get it right and i get it and i'm sure that the developers know this and i'm sure that they are um going to make it even better in the future absolutely but for this season reset man i just Mm, grinding back up to level so oh man that's gonna be that's gonna be great boys i'm the so all in all i see a lot of potential with these seasonal resets and i think that from a longevity perspective for the game i think you know a year two years from now when there's really like they really have dialed in the purpose and the function and the features of a season reset 
I think that it can work really, really well. Uh, and I'm excited to see how that evolves over the life of Call of Dragons. Um, but I think right now, a lot of players don't love the feature. And I also am not a huge fan of the season resets. I've played other games with seasonal resets. I didn't love them in those games either. So, you know, this again, this is nothing really uh, specific about Call of Dragons. It's just the seasonal reset uh, as a feature of a game to me is less desirable than one where I'm constantly gaining power over time. Uh, and that's just my two cents, but I wanted to make this video so you guys could comment down below your thoughts on this. I really genuinely want to know. Um, it seems like call of dragons players who are, have never played rise of kingdoms. It seems like they're totally fine with this. Uh, but uh, it seems like a lot of players who came from rise of kingdoms to call of dragons it feels like they are really not loving this change and so i would love to hear from you guys down there maybe i'm wrong maybe my pulse is just not on the community maybe a lot of players love this i would love again please comment down below i really would like to know your opinions on this and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps this video get out into the youtube algorithm so other call of dragons players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a call of dragons video and with that being said guys Thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace. How lucky can I get today? We have three flying dagger treasures. Come on, RNG gods. Please bless me, baby. Let's go. That's huge. Wait, that's actually huge. I, I was not expecting eight. I just, okay, thank you. Let's go. Now we have 10 keys we can open. Let's go ahead and draw 10. Oof it only turned purple what do we get let's see here bop okay eh, i'm not a huge fan of the freezing ring more coins really ever ice okay ah, one more purple come on one more purple that's trash okay we have 21 gold keys let's go ahead and pop open 10 of them oh we got a legendary let's go baby emery's girl wait that's actually big that's actually big boys can we add a skill on our boy can we add a no we can't okay damn he's still five one two huh that's that's pretty depressing unless we gonna get another one can we get another okay it's purple all right all right what are we gonna see we got craig we got our boy craigie boy over here okay that was actually not that great of a 10 pull to be honest with you uh what's in the last one let's just skip it boom we got nothing we got a bunch of wood all right